the next problem is integration of x into sin inverse of x here again we have two problem two functions in multiplication and we are going to use integration by parts we know the formula for integration by parts it is integration of fx into g of x dx is given as f of x into integration of g of x dx minus integration of integration of g of x into differentiation of f of x and whole dx. The trick in integration by parts is selecting the first function and the second function. In the explanation video, I have explained how to select these functions. Whenever you have an inverse trigonometric function, this will become your first function. So, f of x will be sin inverse of x and g of x will be this left function x. Now, let us put them in the formula. So, you get x sin x integration of x sin x will be equal to f of x which is sin inverse of x into integration of x dx minus integration of integration of x dx into differentiation of f of x that is d by dx of sin inverse x and dx. So now we are going to use some identities. We know that integration of x raised to n dx is equal to x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus c. So from here we will get integration of x as x squared by 2 plus c. And we also need to differentiate sin inverse x. Differentiation of sin inverse of x is equal to 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square. So, this is the differentiation of sin inverse of x. Let us put these two values 1 and 2 in this equation and proceed solving further. So, you get integration of x sin inverse of x as sin inverse of x into integration of x dx. Integration of x dx is x square by 2 minus integration of integration of x dx which is again x square by 2 into differentiation of sin inverse. Differentiation of sin from equation number 2 is 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square and dx. Now we need to simplify this second term a little bit so that we can solve this problem easily. So let us rearrange the terms. So this first term we can write as x square by 2 into sin inverse x minus. Now let us take 1 by 2 outside integration. So we will be left with x square upon square root of 1 minus x square dx. So I want to modify this second term so that I can integrate it. Right now it looks a little, little dif difficult to integrate. So let us to match with the denominator let us take a minus here and make this uh, as plus. We also we will to get this 1 let us plus minus 1. So I mean let us write this as x square by 2 sin inverse x plus 1 by 2 integration of 1 minus x square and since I, I have added 1 let us subtract 1 and 1 minus x square dx. I am doing this because we know how to integrate 1 by square root of 1 minus x square and we also know how the integration of square root of 1 minus x square. So, I am going to divide these terms into these two groups and 
we keep the denominator separately. So, we will get x square by 2 sin inverse x plus 1 by 2 integration of 1 minus x square upon square root of 1 minus x square dx minus integration of 1 upon 1 minus x square dx. This first term now I can simplify and I can write as this, this term is going to remain the same plus 1 by 2 integration of square root 1 minus x square dx minus integration of 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square dx. Now, here we have to make use of the integration uh, formulas that we have studied. Integration of 1 minus sorry 1 upon 1 minus x square. To understand how you to how will you integrate this you have to know what you will differentiate so you will get this. So, integration differentiation of sin inverse differentiation of sin inverse is 1 by square root of 1 minus x square. Since integration is opposite of differentiation when you will integrate 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square you will get sin inverse x let us call it 1. We also know the formula for integration of square root of a square minus x square. This is given by x by 2 square root of a square minus x square plus a square by 2 into sin inverse x by a plus c. Now, here in our given problem we have to integrate we need to integrate square root of 1 minus x square. So, a is 1. So, you get x by 2 square root of 1 minus x square plus 1 by 2 sin inverse x plus c. So, let us call this equation number 2 and we need to put everything back so that we can find the solution. Solution will look like x square by 2 sin inverse x plus 1 by 2 integration of square root of 1 minus x square this we have calculated. So, from 2 you get x by 2 square root of 1 minus x square plus 1 by 2 sin inverse x and we have this term. So, integration of 1 by square root of 1 minus x square is given as sin inverse. So, I can write that here minus sin inverse x and plus c. Let us simplify a little bit. So, you get x square by 2 sin inverse x plus x by 4 square root of 1 minus x square plus 1 by 4 sin inverse x minus 1 by 2 sin inverse x plus c. We have three terms with sin inverse. We can simplify them by taking sin inverse common. We can take 1 by 4 sin inverse x as common. So, we will be left with here we have x square and denominator is 2. So, you get 2 x square. From here we will be left with only 1. So, we write plus 1 and from here we will be left with minus 2 plus this remaining term x by 4 square root of 
1 minus x square plus c. Here we have plus 1 and minus 2. We can simplify that also. So finally you will get integration of x sin inverse x dx as 1 by 4 sin inverse x into 2x square minus 1 plus x by 4 square root of 1 minus x square plus c. So, this is your final answer. I hope you understood how we have solved this. We have made use of two identities here, two very important identities, integration of 1 by square root of 1 minus x square which is sin inverse x and integration of the form square root of a square minus x square. This is given by x by 2 square root of a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sin inverse x by a. We can put everything in the formula and we, we will get the final answer as this term. I hope you understood how we have solved this question. Keep practicing. Let us meet in the next video.